you doing? Oh, hey, um, have you seen Dad lately? I haven't seen him in two days, maybe. I haven't seen him since the weekend. Really? Oh, really? That's, that's strange. It is, but what's your point? Oh, no, no nothing, not nothing here, at all. So it's good. Yeah. All right. Good night, guys. All right. Hello, this is Ethan Zhang. At approximately 7.15 yesterday evening, the body of second year student Daniel Lin was found beaten and reasonably dead, not too far from where I am currently standing. As the community around Arendelle campus struggles to cope with this horrific tragedy, we bring you their thoughts and feelings on Daniel Lin. Well, I didn't really see him around much, but I didn't like him. You kind of wanted to avoid him when you saw him coming, you know? Like, I mean, well... I really can't believe how bad he smelled. Like, I mean, I lived with him for five months. I had to tell him to take a bath at least once a week. Like, he was such a slob. He asked me out on a date one time. He was so repulsive. At night, he'd turn the bass up real high and the walls would shake. But he'd never turn it down. I mean, what the hell? Well, as a dawn, my main concern is for the students. And Dan was just very difficult. I mean, he never participated. He didn't come to row meetings. He was violent. I mean, he once punched a hole in the wall with a beer bottle. The poor guy, Dan, he's just difficult to like. You get used to students not paying attention in your class. It's almost a given. But with Mr. Lin, it was unbelievable. He not only slept in my classes, but he actually snored. Total disrespect. You were his girlfriend for a year? Yes, I was. I know this must be difficult, but is there anything you'd like to say? Dan, well, he... You know, he... Excuse me, miss? Yeah? How do you feel about the death of your fellow student, Daniel Lin? He's dead? You mean... I went through all this trouble for nothing? He was always drunk. He always had a shot of vodka on his desk. He cooked with vodka. <laughs> had vodka with his cereal. I lent him one of my anime CDs. I think it's still in his room. I hope the police haven't cleaned it out yet. <laughs> Excuse me. What did you and your friends think of Daniel Lin? Daniel Lin? Daniel Lin? What did we think of Daniel Lin? Hey guys, guys, come here. What's up, man? This guy wants to know what we think of Daniel Lin. What do we think of Daniel Lin? Not the warmest reception a dead person can have, and certainly not the reception anyone was expecting. I talked with Anna Sang, who discovered Daniel Lin's body. So, this is where you found this corpse? Yeah, right here. What was your reaction to seeing his horribly crushed and brutalized carcass? At first, I was scared. Then I realized it was just Dan. So, just got back into the car and called the police. Weren't you scared? Hell no. I saw him at a party like that once. He was just pissed drunk. I didn't even think anything of it. I didn't even know he was dead, actually, until the police told me. Anything you can say about him? Anything at all? Well, he did have a lot of money. He always bought me a lot of stuff. I really like that. He had the coolest DVD set. He had everything. But he never shared it with anybody. What a jackass. Uh, He'd sit yeah, beside me in class and take yes. notes. Uh, he had a really expensive pen though, and I wanted that pen too, because that pen really kicked ass. Yeah, you should have seen his car, eh? Where all the stupid bastards get all the cool cars? And remember guys, we have Valentine's Pub coming up on February 12th. Uh, buy your tickets from Angel League. Uh, finally guys, let's have a moment of silence for uh, Daniel Lynn who just passed away. Uh, now that that's over with guys, uh, let's auction off the stuff because I need the money. Um, Pirates of the Caribbean DVD. Yeah, ten dollars. Ten dollars? Higher than that, guys. Here. Twelve back here. Twelve back here. Higher than that, guys. Nothing. All right, that's sold. We got a vintage uh, Ninja Turtles item here, right here, guys. Come on. Anybody? Fifty cents. Fifty cents, please, guys. Come on. Higher than that. All right, fifty cents sold. Nice new sweater, guys. Look at this, brand new, right off, right off the top. Come on, guys. Come on. Anybody? I need the money, guys. Please. 
many similar sentiments have been shared about Daniel Lin. We end this segment with a recap of the comments from those who knew him best. I'm glad he's dead. Thank God we don't have to put up with him anymore. I'd pay to spit on his body. I really would. Wish I'd killed the asshole. I heard we get 4.0 GPAs because he died while he was on residence and because we were all his roommates. Is that true? So, Ethan, uh, you're not busy after this, are you? For STC News, this is Ethan Zhang.